Hi, I'm Cody Alexander with MaxQuarters.com. Today I'm bringing you a topic that I get asked about a lot is what are some simple ways that I can blitz from the tight front? You're kind of locked into a, a 404 alignment. Maybe you don't want your DNs rocking out. You want to plug those B gaps. How can I use outside guys? How can I get to a blitz where I feel comfortable from the tight front and I can build it into my defense that I already run? My main advice, find a way to get to bear. So the first blitz that we're going to discuss is probably the simplest blitz of all, which is just sending your edge rushers. So any time that I get the overhang to the box in this blitz, all I'm going to do is send them off the edge on blitz contain. That, again, gets you to a relative bare front. So versus a two-by-two two that's relatively easy, your DNs are going to fit their gaps. The nose is going to go to the A. Your mic and wheel will go to the scene. Now, you can stem these guys down on alignment and then blitz them off for contain. Call this bullets, call this whatever you want, but now you've got a hot two coverage. So you've basically got eyes coverage on the back. You can have these guys trapped. You can have them play regular uh, two quarters, uh, cover two quarters. Um, you can even spin them to cover three. You can have this guy cheat out and have him sling over here and rotate strong. Usually probably want to rotate to the field. Uh, you don't want to leave the mic coming from, from uh, it, the hash all the way out to the field to cover that guy. So if you're going to run cover three, it's probably best to bring him down into the middle and sling him into the boundary uh, and keep him, keep him on deep thirds. That would probably be the, the cover three adjustment that you, that you would want. Otherwise, you can run either a trap two or play kind of a two read scheme over those guys and let the, the mic and the wheel wall the scene. So how does bullets adjust a three by one? Very simple. Again, you keep the same people in the blitz. Now, uh, if you want to remember, this is blitz for contain. So it's okay that he's coming from depth. You can kind of cheat him inside and then send him off the edge. Again, send him off the edge. The line does exactly what he wants. This time we're going to roll. We're going to roll to a cover three because we're losing our edge player. So he's going to work down. He's going to work to cover three. He's going to work to middle field. He's hot to three, and he is your first or fourth defender. So he's reading the back, and then again, you can always lock up the backside. So now you've gotten into a bare front. Your versus a three-by-one set. You can roll to cover three. If you wanted to leave everything coverage-wise front side, you could send the mic off the edge, but that would be a check down if you want to keep it real simple for your players and just keep everybody the same, whether it's two-by-two two or three-by-one. This would be the way to do it. So there you go. There's bullets. That's blitz number one that we're talking about, blitzing from tight. In this blitz, we're going to have the same principles, but we're going to get to a 5-1 box instead of having the two inside linebackers and bringing people from the edge. So in this, you can either run a cover three scheme or a cover one scheme if you would like. Uh, it really doesn't matter. We're still going to get to a five-man pressure. So in reality, you could maybe run a trap two coverage if you wanted to, but let's, let's look at it and let's see what we got. So for instance, what we're going to do, instead of sending the sand, we're going to now bring the mic off the edge. Kind of a delayed rush. Have him get, have him attack the tackle and then insert in. Nose is always going to go to the A back. We're going to get here and then again, being able to blitz him off the edge for contain. He's going to wall. The wheel linebacker can shoot. So this is where you can get your trap two coverage. You can run trap two to this, or you can run cover two. You can still run your cover two, and your cover your coverage distribution is right here. The only thing that is kind of the the wild card is going to be the A back. So if you if the A back pushes here, the Sam's going to have to push with them and the wheel will have to open up. So in, in reality, if you run a hot two blitz, this guy's got to get to the seam, this guy's got to get to the seam, and you just don't worry about the back. So hopefully the back goes and you've got a Mike linebacker green dog and it what looks like a green dog off the edge. Otherwise, you can get to a cover three scheme, leave him for the running back, drop him down, he can get to the deep third, he's wall and carry, he's there, and now here's your middle hole, middle of the field players. So you can do this any way you feel comfortable. If you're a two high guy and you run cover two and you just like trap two, you can do that. Just be aware someone's got to take the back if it comes out. But a lot of times in that trap two coverage, you're not really worried about the back because what's the back? He's behind the line of scrimmage. Everybody will rally to it anyway if ball's thrown. Hopefully it is thrown behind the line of scrimmage and you've got kind of two squat corners uh, on either flat. So you should be okay if you, if you do that. Uh, if you feel more comfortable with a cover three, you can do that as well. And it's an easy adjustment for cover one because the battery safety takes him. 
Sam takes him, free safety's in the middle of the field, and Will has the back. So you've got all your coverages in there. And, yeah, in fact, you can mix and match them uh, for whatever you feel like, for what your skill level is for your school, or for what you want that week just to change it up. Maybe you're a trap two team, and now you want to run uh, a cover three scheme. Or, hey, I got some dudes. I know we've been running trap two. I want to go cover one this time and really lock them up. So, again, here's another blitz. Uh, this is two by two. Next, we'll look what see what it looks like versus three by one. So what does our second blitz look like from three by one? Well, the nice thing about it is the box doesn't change. So there really doesn't need to be any kind of coverage adjustment other than what do you want to run to trips? Are you a, a man free team? Are you a trap two team? Are you a, a special team, which I have behind me? So any of your coverages are fine. If you want to roll to cover three in this, all you got to do is drop the free safety. All he's got to do is come down and insert. It looks like you're in special. All of a sudden you're not. Uh, so so here it's, it's very simple. Let's go ahead and make it. Mike's going to come off the edge on a green dog. Again, we want to hear an insert, insert, insert. The Jack's going to come. You can even have him lined up, and he's going to blitz for contain. Uh, if you get a single receiver side, again, you can do this, make it really simple. Hey, we, we're afraid of the snag route. We want this to kind of be a rundown blitz, so here you go. He's on top of the snag. He's middle third, and then he's, got, he's just basically going to push with the back. So that's a simple way of getting into cover one. Uh, if you want to go ahead and run special, the, the only issue is going to be of where the running back is so if the back is set weak you're going to have to have some sort of adjustment either the boundary safety is going to have to sink in down which is probably what you would do is if you wanted to stay in your kind of split field look he would have to be hot at the three he's got to sit on it he would actually have to come down and be in the box so you're going to have to find a way to replace that day so again everything you have cover one you have a, a, a split field look if you would like or you kind of have uh, a cover three look if you if you want that. It, again, the, it be creative and, and find one way to do it, and kind of get good at that, and then, and then play with it a little bit. But everything is there to have multiple options coverage-wise. Final blitz we're going to talk about is an exotic one. We'll give you something crazy, just something to think about, chew about, chew on. Maybe you, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. But I think that you got to find ways to be simple. Uh, and then kind of add layers to it until you can get to an exotic. Maybe it's a third down. You know what you're going to get. You know you're not going to get four verticals, so you're going to go ahead and take a chance. Uh, if you're a cover three team, uh, one of those is maybe sending the safety along with the overhang that looks like it's blitzing. And so, for instance, if I'm always creeping this guy down here and I'm, getting, I'm blitzing him, if you, if you think about it, we've sent an edge guy every single time. So now, now I look like I'm in. Now I look like I'm in cover three. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to track him down the line. I'm blitzing for contain. Long stick, long stick, long stick. Now I've got a five-man pressure, which is very similar to America's Blitz. Everybody has it. You've got somebody catting down the line. you got somebody up looping up for contain. So if I get a zone read right here, I've got a dive player, and I've got a quarterback player, and now I can, now I can move him. With this, you can do this several different ways. If you understand... The Georgia scheme or the Alabama scheme, you've seen this blitz before. It's a trap two blitz. They're going to make it look like cover three, and then all of a sudden he's going to deep half. He's squatting it right here, hot to two, and then now I'm going to be the deep half. I'm cutting to the flat. I'm cutting to the seam. So you can get real exotic. Now, if, if you don't have the dudes in the back end, you don't have a guy that can come and make it look like center field and then go all the way over there, you can, you can play just kind of a regular cover three scheme that Mike's just got a long way to go. Or you can do this into the boundary. You don't have to do this to the field. You could sit, you could attach the jack, have the boundary safety down, and go down. That way the wheel doesn't have a lot. You could do a field or a boundary call. It doesn't necessarily always have to be to the back. So this is kind of the last one that I'm going to show you. The trips adjustment is real easy. If, you, if they got a guy over here, it's kind of the exact same thing. You're gonna get the you're gonna get guys except for the will linebacker now has to he's now gotta cut the three he's now gotta get all the way out so again if you're not into the kind of the trap two kind of make it look like a cover three scheme you can get into some trouble um, but if you're into exotics again this is an easy one to make it look like you're going to the boundary bring him down bring him down cat down the line him up and then everybody you, you don't lose your coverage distribution to the front so this might actually be a better boundary blitz at the high school level if you don't have the athletes that can do it but you can do a field or boundary it doesn't really matter so hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight we gave you a simple way to get into bare front uh, from sending the two edge guys 
from then sending the mic and the edge guy and then now give you an exotic to chew on uh, to see what you like so hopefully you got a little bit more information again my advice is if I'm in the tight front I need to find ways to get to bear especially if I don't trust those four rides rocking back out or get them into fours so they can get into fives and then kind of use your use your interior blitzes to to what you want but again get creative uh, what do you do defensively are you a quarters team are you a cover three team or are you a man free team you know if you're a man free team it opens up a lot of things for you if you've got the dudes if you're a cover three team again kind of opens up some exotics for you being able to send double edge guys off the, off of it but it, but if you're a quarters team you're kind of a little bit more uh, into structure and, and these exotics don't necessarily might work for you but there are ways to do it so again with this if I get a three by one, I can easily do this off the edge, send everybody there and keep my coverage integrity over the three. So if I'm a quarters team, maybe I go weak. Uh, if I'm a cover three team, I can go strong and kind of get this uh, trap two to the field. So again, hopefully this helps you out. I know it's a question I get asked all the time. Uh, thank you. Uh, make sure you check out Match Quarters YouTube for more clinics like this and make sure to hit up the website matchquarters.com. Thank you.